But this is the garden gnome that I was given to get over my phobia of garden gnomes. Ooh. <laughs> right. How, how far back does the phobia stretch? I don't know, but check out how far I've come. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's a big step. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it um, started when I was a kid. My grandparents had lots of garden gnomes. Like, some of my earliest memories, actually, are of just, like, going... <laughs> because there was some... There was an old man... You know, a colourful, delightful old man. Just there. If we'd filmed this 20 years ago, could we just see your reaction to that gnome now? OK. Well, it, like, <laughs> if question. it was a real reaction for me 20 years ago, <laughs> I'd be like... And if I didn't know it was, yeah. was going to be there, I'd be like, um, I'd be like, hey, Chris, how are you going? With... <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, mate, listen, I've, um, I... <laughs> I'm going to just have to, um, I'm going to have to see you later, OK, because I, um, because I've got this kind of weird, I know this is weird, but I've got a weird gnome thing and I, <laughs> I'd cuddle that man, probably. <laughs> <laughs> So who gave you this name? Well, this was my uh, psychologist gave me this. <laughs> you... <laughs> Very specifically because I was, um, I was having dreams. I was having gnome dreams. Describe but... the dreams for us. Frank. That was short. <laughs> 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 um, like, basically, well, I, I was, there was a point where I reckon I was probably getting about five hours sleep because every, every night... I would just have... And it's the, it's the pleasantness of it that mainly yeah. freaked me out. I'd been doing comedy for about five years and I don't know, it was something about the stress of having audiences looking at me and some really in that pressure and then these dreams of just the... <laughs> all the gnomes just, like, looking, you know, make us... Right. Please us, satisfy <laughs> me, you know. I would sometimes wake up and just scream out something like... <laughs> It was, it was harrowing. <laughs> I would scream out something like, he's cute, but I don't like him! <laughs> I don't trust him! He's... All right, so you, you've gone to see a psychologist for the phobia. Because of the dreams? Yeah. They've given you a gnome. How did that cure you of your phobia? Well, what he said was, what you want to do is you look at the gnome and say, it's just made out of concrete, it's not real, it can't hurt me, that's that sort of thing. And then... And then, then he threw I it at you. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> it can hurt, Frank. <laughs> Never forget! <laughs> You're going to send... The dreams will start again. <laughs> so please don't do that. But then he gave me the, the gnome. He said, you have to give it a, no, a name that you like. And I called it Warwick. Warwick. And Good gnome name. He said, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to put it, like, in your backyard, not, like, looking away from you. <laughs> then, each day, <laughs> turn it around, <laughs> and then, just each day, bring it across right. the lawn a little closer, <laughs> until... Bit by bit. <laughs> until Baby one steps. night, I want you to sleep with it by your bedside, like that. And if you've... Once you've had a, a good night's sleep and it's been beside your bed, then you know that you, you basically cure it. And, and is it just Warwick you're OK with now or all gnomes you're fine with now? Oh, look, you could cover... I could be neck deep in gnomes and I'd have a smile on the face. <laughs> yeah? It's all... You know, I'm good. I'm good it sounds now. like some sort of tradie saying I've never heard. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm neck oh. deep in gnomes, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you a pool by Christmas? I'm neck deep in gnomes. <laughs> this psychologist, was he a gnome phobia specialist? Um, I think he was pretty good with leprechauns. Oh, my God. I hope this is true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me too, just for the psychological reasons. I don't buy a single word of this. Yeah, uh, nah. Nah. <laughs> nope. I want to believe it. You think but it I think you true. two are so quick to say no. Would it help if I said that when I first met him, he was in the jungle in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> what got me was the name, Warwick. Warwick. It's such a good gnome. Like, there's no Braden gnome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're buying this. So, um, no, I feel like we're going for a lie. Hey, we're going to say lie. All right, Frank, is that a truth or is it a lie? Ha! It's a lie. <laughs>